Tutorial Video, Collaborative Robot Safety Video 2. Hello, this is Video 2 on Omron's Collaborative Robot Safety. In Video 1, we introduced to you the safety standards and functions, as well as stop categories and safety outputs. In this second video, we will explain the safety aspects of the robot's software, namely the intuitive safety parameter setting and Cartesian safety limit. We will then talk about Omron's risk assessment service. This video is intended to be an introductory guide only. Every robot application is different, and each installation must go through a thorough safety risk assessment before operation. For further important information on safety, please refer to the safety manual, software manual, and hardware installation manual. Intuitive Safety Parameter Setting Omron's collaborative robot software is called TMflow. TMflow allows users to adjust a range of parameters in order to reduce the risks involved with implementing an application. These include limiting the speed, torque, force, and position of the joint and TCP in order to reduce risk of injury. Since there are many numbers involved, the safety parameter setting can be a bit overwhelming. But the Omron TM robots have a graphical user interface to help you through this process. This is the safety setting interface. First, let's talk about the human machine safety settings. This is the safety settings for the Omron TM robot when it is intended to work in close proximity with people. For example, let's say that in your application, it is possible that a person's hands and lower arm can come in contact with the robot. You can click the two sections and then see that the maximum absolute speed and the percentage speed of the robot have automatically been set. On the other hand, if the person is to work closer to the robot, other regions of the torso, such as the shoulder or upper arm, may come in contact with the robot. Since these parts are able to take even less force, the robot's maximum speed is reduced further to prevent injury. You can adjust additional parameters to set up safety limits. If the user sets the safety parameter to be higher than the default, a pop-up warning will appear and those values will be highlighted. We recommend to conduct a risk assessment if you'd like to proceed with higher values. Meanwhile, the performance safety settings is used when you want the Omron TM robot to be operating at the fastest speed possible to reach a certain cycle time. These settings have higher TCP speed and force limits, and it is assumed that no person can come in contact with the robot. For example, users can add a safety sensor to the robot system and divide the work area into two. The robot can work in performance safety settings when there is no one nearby, and then switch to human machine safety settings when the safety sensor triggers a signal that someone has stepped into the robot's work area. When the person is out of the work area, the robot can get back to full speed. The graphical user interface is a very useful tool, but please keep in mind that it is meant only to help you get started. You will need to go over the parameters during your safety risk assessment and adjust them accordingly depending on your installation. Cartesian Safety Limit Now let's talk more about space and how to set boundaries between spaces using the robot's software so that safety is ensured. Let's say that the robot is working on a palletizing application in the middle of the factory floor and that there are people moving past this robot frequently. In this case, we want the robot's motions to be contained within a certain area surrounding itself so that it will not accidentally collide with anyone. Let's go back to TMflow. This safety function is called Cartesian Safety Limit. Enable the Cartesian Limit. Designate which parts of the robot are being limited by the Cartesian space. Users can set the upper and lower bounds on the X, Y, and Z axis to construct a cube around the robot. You can also create a cylinder using upper and lower bounds of the Z axis and the radius of the cylinder. Let's create a cube. See how the robot can't move outside of this cube. Instead of setting up a whole cube, you can designate a plane, too. For example, a person may be working next to the robot in an assembly line. 
We don't want the robot to come into the person's workspace at any time. Let's go back to the Cartesian setting. We can enable just the x-axis to create a safety plane. Now the robot will stop when it reaches this plane, but is free to move in other directions. Omron Risk Assessment Service As discussed throughout this video, the Omron TM robots are designed to comply with all necessary safety standards so the robot is considered safe. However, the goal is to achieve a safe robot application or operation which requires the consideration of more than the robot itself. So it is important to understand the difference between a safe robot and a safe robot application and operation. As every robot application is unique, users must go through a complete risk assessment to guarantee that the application is safe. For customers that are not familiar with this process, Omron provides an on-site risk assessment service to ensure the safe operation and successful efficiency gains and productivity boost of your collaborative robotic application. Omron's certified risk assessors will perform an on-site inspection, potentially co-design with customers, to assess the safety of equipment, confirm certifications, verify safety parameter settings, and document that safety validation has been completed. Risk assessment and reduction document will also be provided. This concludes video two on collaborative robot safety. We hope that these videos will help you start the implementation of a safe and successful collaborative robot application.